advantage of using a background job is that you don't have to manually uh, do that particular transaction. Uh, it can run automatically in the background. We can schedule it. Frequency we can define uh, after how much interval we want the job to be executed. First, we need to create a variant uh, for which we want to create a background job and then use that same variant to schedule a background job. We use this decode SM36. Uh, here we can also define the priorities of the background job, whether it is a high, low or medium. To see the log of the background job, the decode SM37 create a variant for Q810 which is a automatic UD. Enter here I am entering plant inspection type suppose 89 plant is 1100 uh, UD code we can select suppose for auto UD I am selecting this. Okay rest all things are coming automatically and then you need to click on this save variant. Okay. I can enter the name of my variant say auto UD okay same I am entering suppose for the description then click on save okay so my variant is created and this is the variant name auto UD next comes the uh, program we name we need the status this is my program name so we can copy it close this we will go to uh, SM36, enter. Here we can enter the name of the job, which is suppose auto UD. Here we need to tell the priority, whether it is a high priority, low or medium. Suppose if I keep it medium priority, click on steps. Can specify my program name for um, automatic usage decision, then we need to tell the variant. This is the variant which uh, we have just now created, auto UD. Select this, language we can select, and then uh, click on this save. The screen will come, go back. Now click on start condition, where we can specify the conditions. Suppose if I want to schedule it immediately, so I can select say immediately, here, there are a few options, like if you want to check uh, or save or you want to specify any specific period, then we can select that. Suppose if I select save period, then uh, after one hour, I want to run this background job daily, weekly, monthly, or any other period if I want to specify. Even in minutes and hour, we can specify. Suppose if I want in after one minute, okay, so we can check it and then click on save. So then click on save specified immediately okay and job frequency is after every minute let's save it or in the bottom you can see that the uh, job has been saved okay and it is in release state let me create a lot for which i want to do a automatic usage decision so when this particular job background job will run automatically the usage decision should be done so I'm just creating a lot. Uh, so let me enter some quantity and sample size is created, save it. Now let's do the result recording for it. The results within the specification, then only the UD will be done automatically. Okay, so I'm entering within the range. So valuation is accepted and status is 5, save it. If we go for QA32 report, enter, just execute it. So this is my lot whose result recording has been done. And I want the automatic usage decision should be done for this. SM37, enter. Here we can specify a job name. Uh, so it was auto UD, we can select that. Okay, and just execute it. Uh, what all are processed and finished and release date. Okay, let me select all. Even if it is scheduled and then execute it. Okay, after one minute time interval we have specified. If I refresh it, 
usage decision has been done and after an interval, the UD will be done automatically. I haven't done the UD. Let me refresh it. So it is showing that this particular one is just not done. 